There are many different definitions of luxury. I for one see a full tank of fuel and 24 hours of continuous electrical supply as a luxury. Unfortunately, that luxury isn't afforded to many of us these days. But when speaking about automotive luxury, you cannot not mention the name Rolls-Royce. Now, as you can see next to me, I've got the rather large Rolls-Royce Cullinan. But before we get into quite literally into the Cullinan. Let's chat about the Rolls-Royce brand and premium products in general. You see, in 2021, Rolls-Royce enjoyed a 45% sales increase versus the previous year, making it the most successful brand or the most successful year for the brand in its history. Now, considering we're in the middle of a global pandemic and the fact that other premium brands continue to grow throughout this period, it shows that there's certainly an appetite for high-end products. One of the reasons for Rolls-Royce's resounding success in 2021 was of course the Cullinan. Now, being a luxury SUV, the Cullinan is the exact right vehicle for the market at this present moment. Now, the brand does make the Phantom and the Dawn and various other products, but luxury SUVs are where the money is at. And being a luxury SUV, this is quite an imposing vehicle. It is 5.4 meters long and nearly 1.9 meters tall. I mean, it is just an absolute behemoth of a car. Powering the Cullinan is a 6.75 liter twin turbocharged V12 paired with a eight speed ZF gearbox. Now, it wouldn't be very gentlemanly for me to reveal the power figures, um, but I think for the sake of our comparisons with other cars, it's got 420 kilowatts and 850 newton meters of torque. And this is quite a heavy car, nearly three tons. So despite the fact that it weighs that much, it will still get from zero to 100 in 5.2 seconds. Honestly, there's so much to tell you about the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. There are so many features, but I'd rather tell you all of that from behind the wheel. You see, I've never driven a Rolls-Royce before, so this is a big moment for me. I'd really like to just get behind the wheel, get on with it, and relate my driving experience to you. Welcome aboard the Rolls-Royce Cullinan and this is quite a nice change of pace for me uh, in terms of reviews because I'm used to driving these performance cars and sort of trying to exploit them and this is the exact opposite. I'm sort of in a, an automotive isolation tank just cruising around town admiring how quiet everything is and how soft all the materials and, and everything are inside the car. Um, first time driving a Rolls-Royce so the initial impressions are Obviously the quality is incredible. You really have to be inside here to appreciate the level of craftsmanship and the material qualities that they put into these vehicles. But also from a driving perspective, the way the suspension is tuned and just the general comfort and lack of drama and any sound inside is potentially the most impressive part of this car. We're driving along now, the speedometer's in miles an hour, so we're doing about 60 kilometers an hour and it is absolutely whisper quiet in this car. It is incredible. There's apparently about 100 kilograms of sound deadening in the car which is helping uh, keep things under control. I just can't believe it. It is literally potentially more quiet than an EV because the EV emits that sort of electric car whine just to let you know that there's something there. This is almost completely silent apart from the rear ventilation being on in this car we probably not hear much. Um, in terms of sort of open road driving, haven't done too much of that so far, but just being out here in the city, um, you are definitely aware that this is a big car. It's two meters wide, just over uh, 5.3 meters long. So you're definitely aware of the size of the car, but there is some 
good visibility um, all round. So you aren't too nervous in traffic once you've spent a couple of minutes, but I did find myself sort of drifting to the, the left-hand side of the road for some reason. I've tried to sense myself more. I can feel myself doing it right now. There's a car next to me and I don't want to go over to the right-hand side. But once you get more used to the size of the car, it is actually quite a nice thing to drive. Um, performance, obviously there's 420 kilowatts on off and 850 Newton meters. Claimed zero to 100 is 5.2 seconds and the top speed is limited to 250 kilometers an hour. But this car isn't really about the figures in many ways. It's more about the experience and the refinement and the quality. It's really um, more something to be experienced than to um, actually try and exploit the performance in. And from that perspective, it is definitely living up to the sort of hype. As a, as a child, I always wanted to drive a Rolls Royce. And this is kind of exactly what I expected. Something that is quiet, refined, well-built and just smooth. That's, that's the word that immediately pops into my mind. So it's really when you see the intricate details and the attention to detail of these cars that you can appreciate the millions upon millions that people pay for these cars. And there are people out there that are waiting for their Rolls Royce. I believe it's not an order, it's called a commission. When you, when you have your Rolls Royce, um, when you order your Rolls Royce, it is a commission. So there are people lining up, literally lining up to buy these cars. And I suppose that's a reflection on A, the, the demand for premium SUVs within the market and B, the strength of the brand. People obviously know that what you're getting when you purchase something like this is a high quality product. Um, when it comes to the styling and when it comes to the proportions of the car, I'm not here to comment on that I'm here to comment on the experience personally it's not up to my taste the exterior design of the car it has definitely grown on me with time but then again I don't even think I could afford a wheel on this car so I'm certainly not the target market for a Cullinan but what I can tell you from inside is that all your expectations are exceeded in terms of the way that the car is put together and the experience that it gives you. It really is a cut above your standard premium car. With a lot of premium cars, uh, motoring manufacturers will outsource their audio systems to various companies like Harman Kardon, etc. But Rolls-Royce has gone and created their own audio system. It's 1,300 watts and it's called Bespoke Audio by Rolls-Royce. And it is quite an incredible system. We had it playing in the studio earlier and it is certainly impressive in that regard. So you might be asking yourself, why do we have this car on test now? It's been out for a few years and the simple answer is Rolls-Royce offered it to us. And are you gonna say no if they offer you the opportunity to drive uh, their latest, one of their latest products? Um, this car is also, according to the brand, attracted an entirely new audience to the brand itself. Traditional Rolls-Royce buyers are potentially, and maybe some of the traditional buyers are buying this car, but the brand is saying that they are getting into a different target audience with this particular car, which is good for the brand. And it's nice to see that the SUV across a, a multitude of brands is helping premium manufacturers get into a different crowd of buyers from their traditional buying base. I think uh, the Rolls-Royce brand is traditionally associated with people being driven. So the rear quarters of a Rolls-Royce has always been incredibly important. But apparently local Rolls-Royce owners, the majority of them at least, drive their own vehicles. But this particular Cullinan has got the two individual rear seats with what the prank calls a cocktail requisite in the, the center console that also houses a, a sort of toggle switch to operate the two screens on either side of the front seats. It gives the rear passengers a, a multimedia setup. Um, so in terms of the rear seats, two individual seats are uh, heated, ventilated and offer a massage function. All of that can be controlled from the toggle switch, the infotainment system at the rear. The cocktail requisite has got a whiskey flask and it's got champagne flutes. There's a variety of different configurations for the rear and it just, it's like being in a business class lounge or a business class seat in a plane. 
ask and you shall receive. Here I am at the back of the Cullinan and it is just as nice back here as it is up front. I've got a lovely infotainment screen in front of me that I can control here. I've got access to the bar section here, which I will not be partaking in today. I've got a lovely table in front of me. It's just been an incredible experience. My first Rolls Royce, it's a privilege. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and remember to comment. Let us know what car you'd like to see us review next on the channel. Thank you, cheers. Uh, Sean, can you stand a little bit to your left? Okay. Just more, Okay. a little more. Okay. That's it. Just getting some more. A, getting a wide angle. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right.